Okay guys, this is a no mess video of how to change the friction ring on a snapper. This one is a 23 rear engine. Okay, when you run them out of gas, or you get enough gas, a low amount of gas, you can put them up on their end. See that? It sits on its end. With the back side on the floor, those little bars kind of protect it and keep it steady. Okay, I'm actually fixing the blade too, so taking that off. I've already got these loosened up. This is what you need. You need a, possibly a hammer, your replacement ring. Here's the sticker. I got this from Power Motor Sales. They were pretty good. Um, and that's the, the part type and the friction ring is the description that you need from them. Okay, need a hammer, possibly. And I've got two half inch um, sets. This is a wrench, half inch wrench, and I've got this socket set here. A lot more leverage in this and it worked a lot better. And you may need to trust your old friend WD-40. Sprayed it with WD-40 first and left it for a while. And then I put this wrench on one of them that was stuck, obviously, and then took the lower ones and loosened them off. They're all loosened right now because we're trying to save time and get this video done as quickly as we can so you're not wasting time and I'm not wasting time. You don't have to undo that middle one. That's actually for if you're gonna replace this whole unit. Okay. This is really simple, there's no like springs or anything crazy that's gonna come off and mess things up. You take this plate off here, make sure you get them back in the right order. This is what that looks like. Then you have a similar kind of material to a clutch, like a, a clutch material, like brake pad material. Um, it's bendy and it goes on the inside there. Next you have the actual ring. See the friction, uh, the brake material on the inside? That's how it, when it pushes against this unit here, it causes enough friction that it grips this wheel and starts to drive. Okay, when that's not working correctly, it does not want to go up the hills. So there's no screws or anything for this to link into. I don't really know why they have the holes. Maybe it's just to keep the thing cooled down and get rid of the dust. Plate over, that, that plastic rubberish type plate over the top. And then obviously we'll put this disc back in. All right, that's the video. That's all there is, is tying everything up. Make sure it's torqued right. You don't want any loose nuts flying off while you're driving. All right, be safe.